In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the automatic program switching function on the IB3. This function can be useful for a variety of reasons, such as avoiding some of the difficulties with PLC programming and also checking the various steps in an assembly process, such as the example below. In my example that I will go over, the first step is going to be verifying the correct bolt size. Then I will automatically switch to a different program to check the presence of my O-rings. And then finally, I will switch to the third program to check the presence of the cap nut. At this point, my process is complete and I would get an output for a good part. So let's jump into the IB3 software. So as you can see, I already have my three programs set up. I'm going to start on my very first one, which is just confirming the correct bolt size. And in order to enable the automatic program switching, we need to go into sensor setup, step four for the output assignment, and the extra two tab. I'm going to hit enable for the automatic program switching. And just note that you cannot use this function if you are using the external inputs to change program. So it'll give you that confirmation. And now I just need to tell my IV3 the destination programs. So if this program runs and the total status is OK, I want it to go to my next program to check for the O-ring. Here's where you can add in the delay time for the switching. I'm going to go ahead and put in 2,000 milliseconds. And then if the total status is no good, um, I want nothing to happen, or I can have it stay on the same program. And again, I'll put a delay of two seconds. For the no good confirmation timing, you can have it give a no good output after every trigger if you want, or you can select after retry count. I'm going to keep my retry count at one. And essentially what this means is if my first trigger is a no good result, it will give me one reattempt to get an OK result before it actually fires the output. So I'm going to keep it at one and hit complete. And so that's all set up for my first program, but now I need to do pretty much the same thing for my program two. So I'm program two again, go into sensor setup. Step four, the extra two tab and need to enable this for each program that I'm going to be using. So if my total status here is good, I want to go to my third program to check for the nut presence. If my total status is no good, I will stay on my current program. Again, I'm going to do the same delay and have a retry count of one. Lastly, I need to enable it for my third and final program. So again, going into the output assignment. And if my total status is OK here, I'm going to have it return to my original program. If the total status is no good, it will remain on this program. And again, match my settings here. So now I can go ahead and hit complete. And my automatic program switching loop has been set up. But I need to go back to my original program to start the process. And we'll put this into run mode. All right, and my first trigger verified the correct bolt, so it'll automatically switch. And if I were to trigger it, my overall result is no good, but I have one more attempt to be able to get a good part. So if this were a manual process, for example, you can put on the O-ring, trigger, have my good part, and it will automatically switch to program three. So now my nut is on there good part and it will switch back to program zero to restart the process. I hope this helped explain how the automatic program switching function is useful and how to set it up, but if you have additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Option 2 for tech support. Thanks, have a great day.